Yes. That's the vegetable patch. Get the lettuce once, you see? Get the lettuce. Do you see any wheat? You see only moss. Charles dinner or lunch? So the good old reliable Uchikikuri, some of them damaged by the birds it seems. But the best place for them is to grow them over the compost heap. If you're starting now, that was what he had in his mind. This is Charles Doding's uh, vegetable garden in Homemakers Alhampton. This Alhampton is a little bit of a strange name. Why Al? Hampton, is it Arabic or something? Phoenicians were in this area in the past. It's Lebanese. Great color, I say. You see the solar panels on top of the building? That's such a small land and uh, they can make a crop and yet they have some space for what? Oh look at these beans, yellow climbing beans. Just because of the color. Beautiful color combinations with these charts. Can I find a single wheat here? This is an apple tree. And that's a... What's that an apple? All kind of... Chicories, oh yeah. And French dwarf beans. And leeks as first thing, only crop. These are harvested, all the courgettes. This one is mulched because there are some weeds yet which are growing there through them. And dives. This is a new area, it has mulched. 
All the winter squashes. And this is a bed of the Jerusalem artichoke. Apple is not doing bad. Moving an apple. That's a polytunnel full of tomato. Let's go have a look. Mmm, the smell of basil. Mm. I think the polyton is just a little bit bigger than ours. Probably one and a half meter. And most of the tomatoes are harvested. I see one single large black Russian one. And those ones are the ones that we saw in the Italy. Uh -huh. I have a video about it. And some peppers. And a good mulch. That's what we have done also. Without a tomato and uh, aubergine in a pot on a compost heap with some squash, winter squash. No, they look like melons. The melons he told you are not going to be well this year. And every space is just aubergine. I think my polyton is much better. Really, really good with my own hands. And basil. And some other. Oh, bell pepper. It's really prolific. And some of that Cape gooseberry. And lots of basil. You should do a basil patch like this. The idea is that half of the polytum is vegetables and herbs. Sure. You don't do just all polytum taken by tomato. This is a new bed that I made for the BBC. I cut and screwed the size on the day before, just resting on the ground, okay, and topped it with compost. And then planted this for bees. I see radishes, I see puck tree, I see this uh, mustard, I see freely mustard, some, I think this is broccoli, and some freely mustard again, and then puck tree again, it's kind of oriental leaves. So that's what you will see in BBC. That is Charles Dowding's greenhouse. And you see more tomatoes here. And growing the seeds here. Seedlings. And they're getting ready for it. Oh, look at the aubergines. I like that. And again, in the greenhouse, we see a balance between the amount of the rows of tomato and herbs like basil. Now, one row also of origin. This is the tallest origins I've seen so far. It looks like a commercial. 
Norwegian blueberries. And at the end, you see some peppers. And a big cucumber, but I don't think they are tasty. They look very tough. And here, triad bed, made in July, May 2015, for my online course. Yakun. Yakun is this kind of things from the Andes. Bukan Yakun. A little shed, and then we come to the cabbages mixed with some flowers. And those are, I think, also those Andean thingies. Oka, I think. That's oka. And then some uh, oriental leaves, then some. Uh, cherry, I think, and then a courgette in that corner, and seedlings for the next generation. These are some of them, I think, are turnip or oriental leaves. Turnip, they can be oriental leaves. But he don't plant in rows, he plants in plugs. So he will, he will not waste seeds. And a little bit of this hot plant. And a proper place for drying your onions. And some seeds growing here. This is also where Charles Odin keeps his... Uh, that's a conservatory, he keeps his chikikuris there. The solar panel to provide some money for... ...in off-speed. And that is Charles himself wearing red to be seen properly. Some carrots, some kale. Those are the finger of the person. I'll send you an email. Yeah. Hello, Charles. How are you doing? Nice to see you, Charles. Grabbing a picture.